Welcome. How are we doing tonight? Three people in the room. If you're not standing, why don't you stand with us? Welcome to our midweek service. Um, <clears throat> as I was preparing for the night, I was on a walk this morning. Um, and I don't know, I just feel something, uh, sense something really special uh, for tonight. Uh, I sense the Lord wants to do something really powerful. And sometimes I think in Molly and I have talked about this, um, whenever you guys come up to one of us on stage or whatever, and worship was so powerful, and worship is all of us. Worship is every single person in this room ascribing worth. The goal is for the line between stage and congregation to be blurred, and we're all in vertical, ascribing worth to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. It's not about how good we lead or how good we play, because I promise you there's a thousand mistakes made. It's how all of us come together and become more aware of the presence in the King at hand. Amen. So even now, even as we're preparing to enter into worship, Lord, help us expand our capacity to be more aware of your omnipresence that's already here. He's already here in all of his fullness. Amen. He's already here in all of his full fullness, all of his goodness, all of his love, all of his power, all of his glory. It's our job to expand our capacity be, to become more aware of his glory that is constantly around us at all times, 24 seven. So just for a moment, let's just lift our hands. I think it's Isaiah that it says, expand your tent, strengthen the stakes in the ground, expand your physical tent, our bodies, to be more aware of your glory, God. Come on, even right now, just begin to put praise and worship on your lips. Praise and thanksgiving. Yes, God, we worship your name. We love your name. You are good. You are holy. You are faithful. You are alpha. You are omega. Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Jireh. We praise you for who you are and we thank you for what you've done. Come on, press in. Let's not wait for a song. Let's not wait for the singers. Come on, all together, all of us in this room, press in. Let's get uncomfortable at the top of the hour. Let's not wait to get uncomfortable 30 minutes in. Let's get uncomfortable now. Come on, we become aware of your presence. Expand our capacity to receive you. You are worthy, King of Kings. You are worthy, Lord of Lords. You are the one thing. You are our one desire. The only reason we're breathing, we give back to what you first gave us. We can only give back love because you first loved us. We give back the breath that you put in our lungs, God. Come on. If we can't get uncomfortable in a room of like-minded people, we'll never get uncomfortable anywhere else. If we can't worship the Lord and lift our voices in a room where everybody's like us, we will never be bold and courageous outside these four walls. Come on, I'm gonna push. Press in, press in, press in. We give you the glory. Yes. We give you all the glory, God. 
all the glory. We give you the glory, God. Yes, Jesus. We set aside our agenda. We set aside our pride. We give you the glory. We pursue you, God. We set aside our emotions. We set aside our preferences. Yes, it's all about you, God. It's all about you. Yes, Jesus. Come on, let's sing this out in worship. We give back the glory. Lord, we cast our crowns. Lord, we cast our crowns down. We give back the glory. We give back the glory.
and contrite. That you're near to the one in pain tonight. Lord, you're near in the midst of confusion. Lord, you're near in the high seasons and in the lows. Lord, thank you that your nearness is our is our good. If you would just, I just feel like there's something tonight just with this phrase, your nearness is my good. Sometimes I have to do an action step to actually put myself in the position of receiving. And so if that's you tonight, I just want you to just put your hands over your heart. And I want you to lock eyes with God tonight, lock eyes with Jesus. The word says that his eyes are like a flame of fire. He burns with desire for us. He burns to be close to us. And I just want you just to say, just out loud or internally, your nearness, God is my good. Your nearness, your presence. The nearness of your presence is my good. It's my only good. 
It's my only God. Lord, thank you for your nearness. Just tell him, thank you for your nearness. Thank you that you're not far off, that you haven't abandoned me.
If you have your prayer language or spiritual language, just go ahead and pray in the spirit. Just wait upon the Lord. Keep praying. I feel his nearness. Yes, Jesus. I sense a couple of things. The one thing that I sensed, I feel like there's, there might be a person in here that, in maybe an umbrella term, but suffering from a broken heart. Just see such pain. Such brokenness such grief, such sadness. And I feel like that person, if that person's in here, if that's you, if it's more of us, do you mind being bold and raise your hand? If you see people around with their hands raised, please, you're the prayer team tonight. Scripture tells us to lay hands if you see people with their hands raised. We have a person back there in the back corner. Awesome. If the person that raised their hand would be so bold to tell the group what's going on so the group can be specific with their prayers. Specific prayers are powerful prayers. So if that person would be bold, you don't have to share in every detail, just a few things for the prayer team to just hone in on. is easy. He breaks the heaviness. He binds the broken heart. He brings the broken heart back together. 
He's mending hearts. He's mending broken hearts. Maybe the traumatic experience of a past. The traumatic experience of a past memory. Jesus was there. Jesus was there with you. I see Jesus just putting his hands around your heart and the perfect surgeon mending it together. A childhood memory, a childhood memory. He's restoring a childhood memory. He's a perfect father. He's a perfect father. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. couple more couple more seconds to pray couple more seconds you're healing the broken heart you've healed the broken heart by the blood of Jesus Wrap up your prayers. Yes, Jesus. The other thing that I wanted to, that I sensed the Holy Spirit tonight, I sensed very strongly as I was preparing for this evening, I felt very strongly the phrase that the Lord positioned to me. It's time to up the ante. It's time to up the ante. And I just felt so strongly that tonight would be a night that we would practice hearing the voice of the Father. Practice hearing His voice. And maybe some of us in this room have never heard the voice of God. Let me tell you, it was on his heart to speak to you. From the garden, he walked with Adam and Eve in the cool of the day. And he wants to do that with you. He wants to speak to you. In this phrase that I kept hearing, this upping the ante, And the verse that was tacked along with it was faithful with little, faithful with much. And in what ways can we increase our dependency on the Father? In what ways can we lay more down at the altar? What areas of our life can we be more obedient to Christ? And obedience is simply just saying yes to the voice of God. Whether he wants you to take a different route to work, that might be your yes. Maybe it's laying down 
idols, that might be your yes. Maybe you tithe 10%. Maybe it's time to tithe 20. I just feel like God is looking for more yes tonight for what he wants to do and what he wants to pour out. I think he's looking for a people to yield more, to up the ante. And that starts with hearing the voice of God. And I believe that I want you to ask the Lord tonight, how do you want me specifically to up the ante? How do you, Holy Spirit, want me to show you more of my love, more of my gratitude, more of my affection? I just get this picture like, and it's in all the best ways, like he's wringing us out every last drop of flesh, ring us out. So I want us to practice hearing the Lord tonight and just position yourself in a posture of receiving. Whether it's sitting down, whether it's kneeling, whether it's pacing. I want us to be really bold and ask the Lord what are you calling me to do? What are you calling me, Dom, to do to up the ante? To increase dependency, to increase obedience. I want to obey. So, Father, I just pray that you would speak to us. It was in your original design to speak with us. You wanted to be close, closer than my skin and bones, closer than the air in my lungs. What do you want to say? Speak to us. more can we yield to you? Yeah. It's our joy.
joy to surrender all. our joy tonight. fully submitted, fully yielded. What do you want to do? What you say, I'll say. Where you go, I'll go. What you do, I'll do. Fully submitted, fully surrendered to your will, your way, your voice. Jesus only did what he saw the Father doing. Jesus only said what he heard the Father say. This is the model. This is the way. Whatever you want, fully submitted, fully surrendered. Just feel like there might be someone in here tonight. There de there's a dependency on medication. There's a crutch on medication tonight. I feel like there's crutches tonight that the Lord wants to get rid of comforts that you've looked to, comforts that entice you back in, false gods, false idols that disguise themselves as comfort and intimacy. People, I get that sense so strongly that there's so, there's some people in here tonight that leaning, leaning, going back, going back to old habits, going back to old ways. The Lord wants to heal that and redeem that tonight. If that's you, can you raise your hand if that's resonating with anyone? If your hand's raised, could you come up front and be bold if that's you? dependency, leaning, yeah. Can we gather around? Can we pray? Anyone else? I know it's scary. Go ahead. Just start praying. Yeah. If you're coming up front, Just begin to pray over people. Come on. Come on. Yes, Jesus. 
The time for deliverance is now. The time for healing is now. And again, just like we did before, if you had your hand raised and you're up here, if you're be so bold to tell the prayer team what that crutch is so we can be specific with our prayers. Anyone else? Freedom is here. Freedom is now. The rest of us, could we just stand to our feet? And just begin to pray out in the spirit again. I know sometimes when we linger, we our fleshly brains check out. But our spirit is the one that's hungry for more. So come on, just pray out in the spirit.
shall come up leaning on my beloved every season oh Lord you will carry me as I lean Presence is 
Without it, there's no meaning. Your presence is the air I breathe, the song I sing, the love I lead. And without it, without it, I'm not living. Say, I will. Yes, I will exalt you. I will exalt you, Lord. There is no like you, God. Come on, let's lift our hands tonight. Yes, I will exalt you, Lord. I will exalt you, Lord. No other name. Bones will say, Great 
I want us to sing that bridge again. I feel the Lord so strongly. As we started, we give back what he first gave to us. And I believe tonight there was so much freedom and God spoke to us in so many ways individually. Anybody receive that? Anybody receive from the Lord tonight? If you did, come on, lift your voices, lift your worship. So I want us to sing this bridge again and I want us to sing it from our bellies because that's our design. When he gives us something, it should be our natural, uh, natural dependency or natural, uh, what's the word? Reaction to give it all back. It should be our natural reaction for worship to bubble up when there's freedom, when he deposits something in us, when a good gift is given. Your natural response should be wild, crazy praise. And there's a picture that I have, and I don't know if any of you, it's gonna be hilarious and funny, but just deal with me for a moment. When we were kids, our parents would get put gifts under the tree be like, oh, we see the gift, we see the gift. Thank you, thank you, mom and dad. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there was always a gift outside that we didn't see, that we weren't expecting, that we just gave the, when we saw it, just the wildest, craziest thank you and gratitude. I want us to do that tonight. God gives us good gifts. He gave each and every one of you a good gift tonight. And I want us to give him wild, crazy praise. So come on, let's start singing. Come on. Come on. Woo! Come on, shout it out. Are you we give you back the glory. We give you back the glory and the honor tonight. All the Woo! earth will shout your praise. Come on, louder. Our hearts will cry. These bones will sing. Great are you, Lord. Every good and perfect gift is from you, God, so we give you our praise. And all the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry, these bones they will sing, great are you. Oh, I feel it rising, come on, louder! Oh, and all the earth will shout your praise, our hearts will cry, these bones they will sing.
Yes, Jesus, we give it all back. We give it all back. It's all for you and nobody else. Only you are worthy. Only you are deserving. We exalt the name of the Lord. We exalt the name of the Lord Most High. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. All of the glory, all the honor, all the power be to you. You are worthy. You are deserving of our praise. Can we just give him one more shout of praise, one more celebration tonight? Woo! Come on. I don't know. <laughs> what do you do after that? Well, thank you so much uh, for coming to our midweek service. Um, powerful, powerful time. Um, I believe the Lord was doing something very, very special um, tonight. Um, so we'll see you tomorrow, prayer room, 9 a.m., Friday prayer room, 9 a.m., Saturday prayer room, 9 a.m., um, and then Sunday morning service. Um, but that's it. Have a blessed night. May the Lord keep you safe. Um, have a good night. Bye.